Hi guys, in today's video I'm going to give you my response on the latest development in of the um, Ferrari bomb shell saga. I will also tell you what I think the consequences could be. Um, if you haven't already, it would be awesome if you would consider to like, comment and subscribe this video after you've watched it. It would help me out massively. Ta very much. Now you've just got to wait about 10 seconds and, and then we can get into this video, alright? I'm sure everybody has heard of what happened 10 minutes uh, after the last day of testing, uh, before the last day of testing rather, uh, where the FIA announced that they have uh, reached an agreement of secrecy basically um, about Ferrari's en engine issues following an investigation. If you haven't, I strongly recommend you uh, check out my video that I did before you watch this one because this one is a follow-up to, to the to the one that I did back then all right so um now it's emerged that the teams uh, seven of the Formula One teams have uh, have written to the FIA basically demanding further clarification um and also threatening legal action if need be um, it is interesting for, for me that all the seven, all the, all the teams, bar um, the th the three uh, teams which use um, Ferrari engine, have come together and uh, formulated this um, sort of demand. Um, the the three that are not included are obviously the three that use the um, for, uh, the Ferrari engine. Like um, that would be um, Ferrari, Alfa Romeo, and Haas. The other, the other ones have all agreed to it. Now I think um, this could be very tricky for the FIA, FIA, because my fear is that uh, they've sort of acted before they thought about it, really. Because, and my fear is that it could um, go as far as killing Formula One in inverted commas, because they. They, um, I could see the seven teams uh, breaking away from Formula One and um, forming their own series. Series. I mean, we had uh, something similar uh, in the last. We had something similar um, a few times, but it never happened. But this time round, I'm thinking this could actually happen because this time round, um, I think the uh, teams are realizing how serious um, this breach could actually be. Uh, it, it's obvious that they realize how serious it is because for the first time, the th the three, the most of the Formula One teams agree agree on anything, which doesn't of, often happen. And my other thing is, the other thing is why I'm thinking they could form breakaway series is because, um, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, um, after this year, um, the um, Concord Agreement is, is up for renewal, and uh, I think this could put Formula One under massive threat and uh, I think the FIA are really in a tricky situation um, you know because if I was any of the Formula 1 teams I wouldn't be I wouldn't want to be associated with um, in a sport where the FIA is um, effectively helping um, one competitor and trying to by covering some something up I mean as a, as a lot of people say I mean there, there must be something going on because otherwise why would they well, why wouldn't they just say say what, what it is and um, then we we wouldn't have this situation but uh, why are they covering it up in the first place I mean that just, that just adds oil to the fire even more so uh, you know as I say Said. Um, I'm really concerned for the future of Formula 1. Uh, anyway, this is just what I think. Let me know your opinions in the comments below. Cheers for listening. I'm out of here, guys. Bye!